What's up boys, MKTV here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today lads, we have the new series on the channel, it is going to be rebuilding teams in career mode, uh, and yeah lads, it is going to be rebuilding the clubs and stuff, see how they get on. Manchester United is the first one lads, obviously Eric Ten Hag coming into the club and stuff, it's going to be an absolute madness lads. Uh, I cannot wait for it, obviously, you know, buzzing as a United fan myself, uh, and yeah, just can't wait to see what he does bring to this, you know, bring to the club and stuff. What we're going to do, we're going to transfer out, kind of guess who's going to go down and up at the moment. Uh, at the moment, it's time recording this video and stuff, you know, Everton are losing at the moment and stuff as well, so that could change, but uh, I'm going to kind of predict who's going to go down and up, um, just based off, you know, the last few games or whatever and stuff, um, and kind of just predict it myself, get them into the thing, and basically pretend this is next season, building from this season, uh, and yeah, basically that's going to be it, lads. If you're new around here, don't forget as well, drop a like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get straight into things. So yes, lads, basically what we're going to do, we're going to take out the likes Burnley, Norwich, Watford, we're just going to say they're gone from the Premier League, they've been relegated, and up come Fulham, Bournemouth, and Huddersfield. I know it mightn't be Huddersfield, it could be Nottingham Forest, it could be, you know, Sheffield United, it could be Luton, um, but honestly, we're just going to take them out for the top three and go from there, just hope, um, you know, obviously Luton could come up, which would be kind of cool to see, but yeah, as well. But uh, we're going to take them three out, basically, you know, just, it'll be next season, uh, and see what Eric Ten Hag can do. See, so yes, lads, I've done that from next season, that's what that's going to be. Um, we're just going to go off that or whatever and stuff as well. Right, ultimate, we'll disable that. And um, we're going to use Sterling because, you know, uh, normal things like that as well. Um, four minutes a half. Disabled, you know, we don't need a financial takeover. We're going to be, you know, Manchester United. We're going to have enough money. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's see, lads. Eric Ten Hag coming into the club. What can he do? See, so yes, lads. Eric Ten Hag. I'm actually buzzing for this appointment in real life as well. Look, we've made a look like on him and stuff as well. See what it looks like. It may not be the best, but uh, it is something at least. CS lads obviously getting into the formations and stuff. Eric Tanag kind of depends on what you know who's available and stuff. 4231 and 433 do seem to be kind of his go-to formations. Again, we'll see what works with the team and stuff. Obviously, for winning games, we'll keep it the same. Um, but yeah, we need to clear out the club, lads. Get rid of certain individuals, uh, including Harry Maguire. And uh, yeah, let's get into clearing out some stuff. CS lads, I've gone through kind of who we want to get rid of you know, what we want to do with the club and stuff. Right, we've David De Gea, we've Lee Grant, we're going to keep his back up for now. We might, you know, let his, you know, retire at the end of the season. I mean, let him let him run it out. Maybe give him an appearance in, you know, some cup or something. Uh, Tom Heaton, we have transfer listed, just get rid of him. Um, make, you you know, space for the youth. Uh, Dean Henderson, um, on thing as well. Who else do we have? Harry Maguire, my favourite one I want to get rid of. You're gone. Please never come back to the club again. Uh, Phil Jones gone. Eric Bailly gone. Victor Lindelof gone, we want to clear out the defence, maybe keep Victor Lindelof, I mean, we're gonna just going to keep it, you know, bring in the youth and stuff as well, that's kind of what we want with Ten Hag as well, so yeah, we'll keep that, Diogo Dallo can stay for now, but um, I wouldn't be opposed to, you know, we'll give him a season, see how he gets on and stuff, I don't think he'll go in the summer either, um, Matic gone, because he's saying he's going at the end of the season anyways, um, the likes of Scott McTominay, you keep around the club just, you know, until um, he decides to move on or whatever, Van de Beek, we've recalled from loan, Paul Pogba up on the transfer list, Jesse Lingard, Juan Mata, you know, all players that need to go on, progress with their career and stuff. Uh, and anti Martial, when he comes back from low, might need to sell him or stuff, but we'll see how that goes. So yes, lads, getting into some of the um, signings and stuff we're going to be looking at. As you can probably tell from the thumbnail, the first player I want to get is going to be Jurian Timber. He looks like an absolute animal, boys, in real life. He's just what a player he is. I would love to see him in Manchester United shirt next season. Uh, and we'll just give him a go and stuff as well. We're going to be keeping it somewhat realistic, um, under 10 Hag or whatever. The next player we're going to be looking at is going to be Anthony. I think he could be a very, very good player as well for United. If they did decide to get him, maybe they won't. But uh, to keep it kind of interesting and stuff as well, I think maybe he might be a decent option to go ahead and buy. Uh, and also one I just want to look at for the sake of it as well at the moment, um, from Ajax as well, is going to be Alvarez. I'm not too sure how good he is in FIFA and stuff. But um, hold on, if we can even find him. Edson Alvarez, here he is. He's an absolute baller in real life. He's, you know, playing brilliant this season and stuff. And honestly, I could see him, you know, fitting in in a, in a CDM role at United. We need a CDM. We need a player that can just, you know, sit there and just do the job in CDM. One of the hardest positions on the pitch. Why can't he be the man to do it? Next player I want to look at buying as well, lads, is going to be Paulinho from Portugal. I think he could be a very, you know, from Sporting Lisbon. I think he'd be a very, very good option um, in, you know, in the CDM role and stuff as well as an option. We'll see how it goes and stuff. But uh, wherever he decides to pop up... Um, I'll try and get him, Paulinho. Am I missing something or something? Maybe I'm, lads. I might need to just go find him. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Next player we're going to try and be bringing in, lads, is going to be Mateus Nunes. Forget Paulinho or Paulinho, whatever I was trying to say there. Uh, completely just got the wrong player. I was looking at Paulinho. 
He's a bit too old for my liking um, for a player or whatever and stuff as well. But uh, who next player I do want to look at as well. Again, lads, we might not sign all of these and stuff as well. These are just kind of ones we're looking at. Uh, it is going to be Pedro Gonzalez. Or Goncalves. Uh, if I said that wrong, I do apologise or whatever. But yeah, this, where is he even gone? Can I even spell, lads? Can I even spell Pedro Gonzalez? There we go. Uh, and yeah, I think he could be a good option as well for United. Maybe if we don't get Anthony or something. Or just as a backup, you know, winger slash um, centre forward. You could turn him into or stuff. Maybe a replacement for Ronaldo in the future. Who knows? Next player, lads, I'm going to be looking at is going to be Roger. <laughs> Roger. Roger Ibanez. Um, Ibanez, I think I said that right. And yeah, we're going to be looking at him as well as centre-back from Brazil. Um, at AS Roma. Um, which does look like an, another option in centre-back, which wouldn't be too bad at all. Another one I'm going to be looking at, lads, is going to be Pierre Kalulu. Again, from AC Milan, a right back. Just like the look of him and stuff as well. I think he could be, you know, fit in the United kind of system and stuff. And again, could be a decent little option to, you know, possibly as a backup for now. And see who gets on in the future. The final player, lads, we're going to be looking at is going to be Ryan Gravenberch. I know a lot of people, it's pretty much not confirmed. But uh, Bayern Munich have strong links with him or whatever. But uh, maybe Ten Hag can persuade him to stay uh, and bring him with him to Manchester United. Who knows? Might have a look at him, scout them for the next few days, lads. See what transfers offers we get. And yeah, let's get straight over there. Did forget one player, lads. We are going to be scouting as well, along with, you know, the likes of Ralf Rangnick um, having links to the Bundesliga and stuff. Maybe Nkunku could be the player that he could um, try and bring in and stuff. So yeah, we'll pop him in there as well and stuff. Um, and yeah, now let's get into some of the offers we get. Uh, and yeah, see what the scouting comes back as. So yes, lads, some of the transfer offers we have got in the net, you know, few days or whatever. We have looked at Luke Shaw. I'm debating this one heavily, and I'm thinking, with Alex Tellers there, I know he's only 25 and stuff, but potentially could accept this offer. I think, get him out of the club and stuff as well, Um, you know, he's only 82 rated. I think the form he's been in this season and stuff as well, I think he could be a better option. Did reject it, Fred, one, want to keep Fred. A swap deal for Longley, not a chance, no. We want Aaron Mombasak in the team and stuff, Um, and yeah. So yes, lads, we have got some big offers here. Phil Jones wants to go to um, Venezia, if I said that wrong. We'll let him go because he's just gone or whatever. Again, 22 million for Victor Lindelof. I think it's a good option. We can bring in someone young, you know, Mengi looking like coming through, bursting through. One big thing as well with Ten Hag, he wants to bring in the youth and stuff. That is pretty clear. But yeah, we want a big clear out of the club and stuff. Get rid of, you know, all the old players. Not even old, but just players that aren't really performing this season, last season. And just bring in, you know, the next new fresh players and stuff. Paul Pogba to Juventus or to Liverpool. I'm not letting him to go to Liverpool. We're not letting him to go to a rival. And um, we'll see any other offers that do pop up. Emmanuel Matic did get an offer as well, lads. 11 million. Perfect. 11 million, 100,000. Really, really good offer there from Everton. And we did go ahead and accept that. We'll see if he sells. And yeah, not too bad. Also, lads, we have just quick sim this entire like pre-season game thing. Um, can we win it? We don't win it. We lose it to Athletic um, Club. No one got injured, thank God. But Paul Pogba did get a red card. And uh, yeah, we lose that, unfortunately. We have also got, lads, a offer from Eintracht Frankfurt for Sebastian Rode as part of the swap deal for Marcus Rashford. Um, uh, yeah, no thanks. Not a chance. We're not getting rid of Rashford. Uh, 45 million plus him. It's just stupid, really, isn't it? We're not going to accept that. Phil Jones has got another offer from Aston Villa, but we had already accepted another one. Uh, let, let's see what happens with that. So yes, lads, we have got a load more transfer offers here as well. We have got one from Eric Bailly. 15 million from Granada. Absolutely brilliant um, move for him as well and stuff, which is very, very decent. Looking at Alex Tellers, 11 million plus this guy. Just just not really enough, is it? Um, and then we did also get one from Ibrahim <laughs> Canate for Bruno Fernandes plus 28 million. I mean, that's just stupid. We're not going to accept that. He's not going to go to a rival. Um, Liverpool are determined. They want some of our players. We're not caving in. We have got two more transfer offers, lads. It is Dean Henderson to Inter Milan. Uh, again, 23 million, except that, no worries, go again. And um, we did get one for Harry Maguire, swap deal for Ro Magnoli, who's 26, 81 rated, 21 million. Honestly, I don't really want that, but um, I will, you know, if they come in with a thing as well and stuff, and a better offer, maybe, but uh, we're going to reject that one for Harry Maguire, and yeah, moving on. So, lads, we've got some of the players scouted. The ones I'm going to go with first of all, we're going to have a look at Timber. We are going to have a look at him, see how much he goes for and stuff, roughly around 30 million they want. Uh, we'll approach to buy him and stuff as well. Um, and oh my good God. Right then. If we can somehow get a defender to them as a swap deal or something, we can have a look. But uh, yeah, that's not very good, is it? Right, lads. This could be huge in the series, lads. Eric Bay, they didn't want to go to Granada. So we're going to accept one for Ajax and pray to God 
that um, we do go ahead and get, you know, him there, get him gone and get in timber. So that would be the ideal scenario, but we'll see what happens with that. Eric Bailly, lads. <laughs> He's annoying me already. He won't go to Ajax. AC Milan have come in for an offer, so we're going to accept that and see what happens, but... Uh, He's just tricky, really, isn't he? He really, really is, which is just a bit annoying. But uh, he didn't want to go to Ajax, didn't want to go to Granada. Please, can he go here? So, yes, lads, no budging on Jurian Timber so far. Again, we can, you know, we can look and get them um, soon enough. Next one, lads, we're going to have a look at Anthony. 53 million, roughly, they're saying, uh, in and around that kind of price range. We're going to try in and around that price range, see how much he's going for, uh, and see how much we can actually go ahead and buy him for or whatever. And uh, we're going to have a look at a round. I'm going to go for kind of, I think in 40 million so far to start with uh, and see where they say with that. I feel like a voice. Right then, right then. Um, We're pulling a, okay. Okay then, lads. That's it. <laughs> what have I just done? I think I've just screwed the whole career mode. So, lads, the first player we're going to have a look at is going to be Christopher Nkunku. Approach to buy, we're going to get him 63 million roughly is what they're saying. Uh, which again is, you know, solid to be fair, solid to be fair. We're not going to go as low this time. Um, we probably should learn from mistakes this time. Offer transfer fee. We're going to say around 70 million, I think. I think that's a good offer as well. Uh, see what we say with that. They want 90 million. Right then, we're going to go with around 8 even. We'll say even 80. Started off with, you know, kind of go back and forth a bit. Um, 85 million. That is a bargain. We'll take him for that. It isn't a bargain. I don't mean to say a bargain. But uh, we've shook it in and stuff as well. And Kunku looks like he's coming to Manchester United, which is a huge dub. Next player we're going to look at, lads, is going to be... Um, I think we're going to go for Alvarez. I think it'd be a very, very decent one. And um, we'll approach to buy. I think he'd just fit in the United system as a CDM. You know, he'd be really, really decent. Train over the next couple of seasons and stuff. See how he gets on. Uh, and yeah, bring him into Manchester United. Let's have a look and see how much. Around 23 million seems to be kind of where... Um, but again, we'll have a look and see how much they want from 15 million and Victor Lindelof. That could be key. We could bring in Timber as well. Accept that. Accept that. Perfect. We take that happily. Victor Lindelof's gone, and they've got a centre back for themselves as well. So that's a huge, huge dub there, lads. We're gonna go and negotiate as well, lads, with Alvarez straight away. Get into it, and just you know, we need this deal to happen if we want Timber as well, which would be you know a big, big dub. Uh, right then, Alvarez wants sporadic. Fair enough. Take that. Um, how long do we want him? Five years? We'll give him a five-year contract. Could be nice. Three years. Take your three-year contract then. And no release clause, which is perfect. Um, and how much is he saying a week? Salary. See, this is where I don't like it. His current wage is around that. We'll give... I nearly give him a million. We'll give him 20,000 a week. Um, actually, no. Just in case he doesn't accept it. We'll go 25,000. Again, lads, I'm new to career one and stuff as well. Some of the players, I don't really know what they're on about. Oh, my God, lads. I've actually made a mess of it, haven't I? I've just made a mess of it. Right, lads, I've made a mess of that one. But we're going to go into Nkunku, see if we get him his signature. I've just actually screwed it, lads, haven't I? I really, really have. Right, then, we're going to go straight through this. Um, Eric Ten Hag, what can you do with Nkunku? Please, just just something. We need to bring him to Manchester United. We need to see how we can. Um, we're going to give him an important role because he will be important in the team and stuff. He wants a crucial because he's picky. So we're going to give him that then. Um, we're going to give him a five-year contract. I don't know how much he wants or whatever. Um, and that's what he's looking for. Disregard the release clause, which is just easy. Wage. Oh, don't do this to me. We'll give him 100 grand a week. If that's not enough for him, actually, hold on. Just in case, I'm not letting this happen again. We'll give him 120 grand a week. That's a banging contract. There we go. We've signed in Kunku, lads. He's the first player we have signed. Get a shake on that. Uh, and yeah, come on, the lads. Christopher and Kunku to Manchester United. It is a here we go. Let's go. This is massive. We have just got an offer. From Barcelona, 6 million plus Ansu Fati for Paul Pogba. In all honesty, I've seen how good Fati can get into things and stuff as well. In um, things, we're going to bring him to Manchester United, lads. We're going to accept it. We don't know if it's going to go through or whatever, but um, I really like the look of um, bringing Fati to United. It wasn't in the original plans or whatever, but uh, you never know. I mean, we're just going to go give him a go, see what he happens with it. Hopefully, if it does go through. And yeah, this could help, lads, with our Ajax hunt to get some players. They want Jesse Lingard. We want um, some of their other players. We'll accept the offer and stuff. See if he goes. Uh, and yes, as well. Negotiate then with Barcelona to get Pogba um, sold and then get bring in Fatty or whatever. We'll see how this goes, lads. Hopefully it goes better than the other negotiations. Um, and that, you know, that will be kind of nice as well, to be fair. Uh, we'll give him an, 
a rotation role just for the moment because he's you know he's only young and stuff and that's you know good what we want five-year contract because you know Ansu Fadi seems like a really really good one um disregard release clause I just don't think it'd be really worth it wage I'm just gonna accept it because I don't really want to take anything like that but yeah we're willing to take those wages love that come on the lads we get Ansu Fati. um and yes Paul Pogba's gone to Barcelona I believe but uh we'll see what happens with that right lads we're gonna try and go back in for Anthony that's what we're gonna do we need this guy on our team because he is rumored to come to Manchester United with Ten Hag so we need to get this done we definitely definitely do um so yeah we're gonna offer a transfer fee we're gonna offer around I believe 70 million I think we'll just go for it if they accept it they accept it if they don't they don't for Rashford I don't want him I don't want Rashford gone I don't I'll submit an offer hold on propose this we'll give them 75 million for Anthony it could be too much I don't really care but uh 80 what that's a bit much you know right remove sell on clause we'll go 85 million we'll go with that and forget the sell on clause and stuff as well uh 85 million for Anthony will he come to Manchester United for that yes he has right he's put we've accepted verbally there but uh the question is can we get him to Manchester United the next one is Timber again we can't get him at the moment they need whatever um Alvarez I'm having second thoughts but we are going to go in for him again approach him to buy uh, and see what happens there with that as well we'll go straight in we'll, we'll just try and get a signature again as the first video or whatever this you know this first episode or whatever it won't be much gameplay and stuff um or you know games and stuff being played but uh, we'll see what goes and stuff as well right we're gonna go in for 25 million again and hope to god they accept it that yeah we'll accept that as well perfect get Lindelof in there and hopefully he can go there we'll get Timber that'd be huge as well but uh obviously we have to see what happens with that We'll go with the no negotiations for both of them as well immediately. Just get straight into that. Um, and yeah, let us know as well, lads, if you want to see any more, you know, different ones of these. Going to have probably around five to ten episodes, um, depending on how long it takes or whatever. Might do two seasons, see how it goes. Um, and yeah, go with that and stuff and see how it goes as well. Right, we'll give him four years. Or only want three years again. Yeah, perfect. Um, disregard release clause, and he wants a wage. Per we'll just accept the wage this time. We're not in for it for that time. But yeah, Alvarez to Manchester United is another here we go. Perfect, lads. Anthony to Manchester United is that gonna happen that's what's gonna we're gonna see what happens with that come on the lads I'm actually excited with this career one as well lads can't wait to see how it play it pans out and stuff um and yeah right rotation is perfect we'll go with that that's perfect five-year contract amazing love that disregard release clause um and wage right we'll give him a 50,000 a week um wage and we'll add a bonus no 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 a sign-on bonus of a million that's what we'll do yeah okay okay yeah perfect we'll accept that then it wasn't too um much or whatever anti to manchester united as well lads here we go come on um but yeah hopefully timber can be bought now he can get in boys if we can make this happen as well this would be a massive massive dub again the first episode lads might be a bit long but uh obviously getting into all the nitty-gritty of you know signing players and stuff as well right we're gonna just go straight in with it 45 million for um actually you know what i'm just gonna go with 50 we'll go with 50 million submit offer yeah 50 million for timber get in come on it's it's a reasonable one as well to be fair maybe in real life we would have got him for less or whatever but jury and timber for 50 million it could be stupid you're probably laughing at me right now as well but uh we've got him into manchester united as well which is the most important thing lunch at this place we're going to see this a lot lads um and yeah let's see i'm gonna give him a rotation role for now i think you know rotation role is probably what he's gonna get important wow We'll give him an important role then, I suppose. Harry Maguire going. Um, we'll, we'll give him that or whatever. But yeah. Um, accept. Wait, which? Yeah, accept that as well. We don't need a release clause. Now, wage. I'm going to give him 50 grand a week again because I just think it's kind of it's kind of reasonable or whatever. Right, we'll give him 50 grand a week. That's a reasonable offer. Timber to Manchester United, lads, is a here we go as well. It wasn't looking like it was going to happen, but uh, we, we've made it happen somehow. We have right lads this is career mode in a nutshell we have Diego Dallo and we've sold Eric Bailly to AC Milan literally about three weeks ago then they go ahead and say they want to swap deal to get Eric Bailly back I, I don't understand it um Jesse Lingard's currently negotiating with Ajax we can't accept that Phil Jones has ex oh to Leeds we'll accept him go on he can go to Leeds or whatever but yeah it just doesn't make sense does it Right, lads, just to kind of get into it as well, we want to have a look um, at trying to bring, bring in Gravenberch. He has gone to Leeds United for some stupid reason. 
But uh, we're going to bring in Gravel Merch. It might be the most realistic, but uh, it is a rebuild nonetheless and stuff. So we're going to offer around 50 million pounds of stuff. Uh, maybe actually 55, just to make it a bit more respectable. But uh, yeah, 50 million pounds is where we're going to be. Okay, fair enough. Probably too much, lads, but uh, we're splashing the cash out. We want to get him in the club. Uh, we'll negotiate for him as well and stuff. We want to bring in a few more players, lads. The likes of um, the right back, Kalulu, as well. I think he'd be a massive, massive, um, you know, in the future and stuff as well. Right, rotation for him, perfect. He probably will play most games, but uh, yeah, accept that, perfect as well. Um, release clause, accept, and contract. I hate giving me this salary. Right, 50,000 a week, we'll give him that. And we'll give him a signing bonus of a million as well. I think that's going to be fine. I think so. Perfect. Gravenberch to Manchester United as well, lads. Is it? Here we go. Let's go. You love to see it. So we have him as well. I want to bring in Kalulu as well as one option. Um, and I think around, you know, 8 million or something could be decent for him. But uh, yeah, we'll bring in Kalulu as well as a backup right back and stuff. Then we get into the, you know, the youth kind of setup and stuff as well. Uh, and that as well. We're going to bid, I think 8 million should be fine for him. If they don't accept that, I swear to God. 8 million for Kalulu. Here we go as well. Uh, well, not a here we go yet, but uh, we'll see how that goes as well. Negotiate with him and we'll see his current wage and stuff. And then we'll get into, you know, kind of the youth setup and stuff as well. And we'll probably wrap things up there and there for um, a video or whatever and stuff as well. Lads. But yeah, we'll give him a rotation because, you know, he'd, he'd get the odd game here and there. Um, and yeah, three-year contract. Love that. Perfect. Um, no release clause because never really any good. Um, wage then. We'll give him 25 grand a week. No, we'll give him 30 grand a week. I don't want to lose him. Uh, 30 grand a week then for Kalulu. Perfect. Kalulu to Manchester United, lads, as well, is a here we go. Right, lads, basically what we've done as well, we've hired three scouts, lads. We've got one in Portugal, one in Germany, one in the Netherlands. And we've sent them out in nine months, see what comes back. Uh, and yeah, returning in 14th of May, which is actually coming up, you know, in the next month or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's basically what we're going to do with that. Damn it, didn't mean to do that. And yeah, that's what we've done with the Youth Academy as well. In the academy at the moment as well, lads, we do have, you know, some decent players here. Obviously, 71 to 91 is a potential. Uh, and, yeah, we'll obviously, we'll pick up more players along the way and stuff, which is very, very decent. We've got Jack Warren, um, some of these players I don't even know. Could be a new Ole Gunn Solskjaer there. But, uh, yeah, we have some youth academy players there, lads. Um, and, yeah, first game of the season is against Leeds. So, yes, lads, that is where we kind of have the team. With McTominay, you know, we've maybe him to sell, but potentially we'll see. Harry Maguire's needing to sell. Cavani's nearly sold. Uh, Mata. Lingard once we've them we have a load of youth players to come through and stuff uh, and Sue Fatty on the bench which was a surprise with this as well I'll hold my hands up didn't actually know we we're going to get him uh, Marcus Rashford there as well and stuff needs to you know kind of needs to go on and stuff maybe convert him to a striker for Ronaldo eventually uh, Alanga, Van de Beek, Kalulu, Van Fred uh, this is the team then lads for our first game of the season against Leeds this is how the team is looking David De Gea, Juan Masaka and right back we might need to upgrade eventually as well Kalulu we'll see but um, Varane, Timber, Tellez as well could potentially need to get upgraded Gravenberch and Kunku, uh, Fernandez, Sancho, Ronaldo, and Anthony. I really, really like the look of the team, lads. Let me know as well what you think in the comment section down below. But um, honestly, lads, I'm actually liking the look of the team. First game of the season is against Leeds. This will be kind of, you know, we'll put up these um, videos, lads, every probably, as every day if we can, every second day if we can't. Um, and yeah, it is going to be like, you know, every so often there will be videos and stuff up on that as well. But I uh, hopefully you did enjoy, lads. The first game of the season in the next video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. And I'll catch you boys next time with another video. Peace.